One minute he was feted as Scotland's leading businessman, the next derided as the world's worst banker. Now Sir Fred Goodwin's refusal to reduce his multi-million pound pension deal has made the former RBS boss the focus of public outrage. The Prime Minister has even promised to pursue him through the courts for his money. But today the banker's friends defended him. Raymond Buchanan reports. Fred Goodwin used to be an anonymous banker. Well, not anymore. Wanted as his £16 million pension, a handsome reward which he seems determined to keep, despite the near collapse of Scotland's biggest company. Across the media, Sir Fred is the focus of the banking crisis. Anger is growing towards a wealthy elite who have left taxpayers with hefty bills. We are taking all the legal action that is necessary to secure the rights of the general public in this and we're still asking uh, Sir Fred uh, to waive uh, the pension that he has been given. But here at Fred Goodwin's plush Edinburgh home, unsurprisingly, no one is at home. His PR advisors tell us that he has gone away somewhere, but we don't know where. Then again, with a pension pot worth £2,000 a day, he has plenty of places to hide. So we went in search of him in neighbouring Morningside. Have you seen Fred Goodwin anywhere today? Because everyone's looking for him. I haven't seen him, no, certainly not. What do you think about his payoff? I think it's absolutely, I just can't get my head around it. Utterly unbelievable. I haven't seen him around here, no. No, not in Morningside. What do you think about his pension payoff? Um, I have to be honest, I think it's, uh, it's a little bit of a witch hunt, to be honest. I mean, it's obviously distasteful, but... It was his contract, that was his terms of employment, and I think it's, uh, it's a nasty case of witch hunting, really, and trying to demonise people. But many accuse the Royal Bank and the government of throwing away taxpayers' cash with too hefty a payoff. Do I trust the ministers who got us into this mess? Would I send them a messages? No. Do I trust Lord Miners? No, because he was only in the job four days, and he didn't ask the basic question. Is this a contractual agreement, or is this discretionary? It's been a steep fall for Sir Fred, from playing host to royalty to tabloid target. Old friends think he's being unfairly treated. I think it's very unseemly. I think he's been absolutely vilified. Uh, I mean, the scapegoating only gets us so far. The real issues at play here are systemic failures in banking regulation. But so large are the costs of the banking bailout, blame is inevitable. It seems those who took the rewards in the good times will now have to pay with their reputations, if not their wallets. Raymond Buchanan, Reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.